Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. We could do a whole show on this match, I think. This was like the hottest WWE crowd since like the, the peak of Daniel Bryan going into WrestleMania 2014. Bonkers. Just bonkers. This is something I will never forget as long as I live. And as much as everyone was talking about how hot the crowd was to start, and they were hot, I will remember more the silence at the end. This was depression. This crowd went from manic, manic energy to sullen silent depression like that instantly a master class in teasing a fan base that something they want is going to happen and then yanking it away whether that's a good thing or not is up for debate i'm sorry Sami Zayn should have won the title from roman reigns in his hometown it would have been one of the most memorable moments in the history of wrestling and it's never going to be like this again this was the one chance to do it and they didn't do it. Even if they decide tomorrow, man, fuck, we fucked it up. Let's do it at WrestleMania. There's 52 that. It won't be the same at nope, WrestleMania, nope, WrestleMania with no. 55,000 people. No, there's This no was now. the night, no. and you didn't do it. And nobody has given me an argument about why it just had to be done this way. And you couldn't have given him a win in Montreal. You fucked up not doing it in Montreal. And you can never get this moment back. It's done. It's over. That's it. Well, that's the show, everybody. That's the show. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. That's the, that's the main event at the end of the show. Granny, what's going on over there? Forgot to take my hearing aid. What's that? Forgot to take my hearing aid. Uh -huh. Me too. Does everyone in the Empire still have their baby pictures? Who are the cutest and ugliest babies? <laughs> that would be a great contest, actually. Everyone bring in your baby photo. We determine who is the ugliest baby. I think Granny would agree that I was the cutest. Right, Granny? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen something that you thought in all your heart was real but turned out to actually be fake? We visited Mount Rushmore, and I th thought it was really, really cool until they explained to me it was carved. What did you think it was? I thought God <laughs> made a mountain shaped like Wow. Presidents. Golly. So not only did God carve presidents into a mountain, but he must have like known who the presidents were going to be <laughs> to carve them in well, advance. It's God. <laughs> and the I, best Well, I ones. mean, if that's the case, why they fucking even bother doing an election? <laughs> Gee, know. is Lincoln going to win or the other guy? Well, which fucker's on Mount Rushmore? Okay, well, what are we hey. bothering for? I said I was young. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the stupidest, baby. We can confirm that. <laughs> that's fair. I can't wait till Granny reviews this uh, elimination chamber. You didn't tell me there was one. I didn't watch it. Am I your keeper? Well, it would help. Sammy was uh, on, in the ring. I heard that he was going to fight uh, Reigns. Is he? Yeah, they fought on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, you missed it. It was this weekend. Who do you think won? Of course not him. Ugh. Are you he, booking he didn't Granny? Win, Granny. Yeah. Well, you know, Granny, if you go to Peacock right now and hit that WWE button, it's probably right up there at the top, and you can watch it tonight. Hmm. Probably don't want to. Close line. Neck braces. Broken. <laughs> a neck breaker. <laughs> Face kick. Chin chop. These are just random words <laughs> at this point, aren't they, Granny? <laughs> Pat McAfee versus Corbin. Pat starts by kicking Corbin in the face. Makes him shake a bit. Pat gets in <laughs> a few more punches before the ref could recoup. Pat kicks. Recoup. Okay, here's Pat and Corbin. What? Again? Oh, am I reading it again? <laughs> you just reviewed this. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn the page. Sean, Trish, Punk, Jeff Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Jeff Hardy. and uh -oh. Undertaker. They couldn't hide their anger at a botch. When did Jeff Hardy ever get mad in the middle of a match? That's well, why he drank so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Jesus Christ. Send complaints to Gladys Gibson, Woodman, Washington. So Jericho takes the pen, which is especially funny for him because it's a callback to the gimmick he used to do every week that the crowd still loves with the list. But he takes that pen and slowly, 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 slowly raises it and finally just goes, pop. Place goes crazy. They popped on the click of a pen, Shivani notes. By the way, did you notice that the script for this promo was running on the screens in the arena? What? What if are you, you talking look, about? There was a screen behind Danielson up in the upper the deck. The script for this promo is running. It was a closed captioning. Including the part where it says, uh, pause for applause. Trust me, I don't think MJF would have there with a script. That was the, the closed captioning for the, uh, the segment here. For this segment, and only this segment, because I didn't see it one other time anywhere on the show. Okay. It was another one of those deals where 
You know, he took something from his real life and he turned it into a promo. He did, in fact, have a girlfriend that he proposed to not that long ago. It was within the last year and she left him. That was all true. Some of these stories, a lot of these lately, it's like they take so long to get to the point that it doesn't even feel like it's even a story anymore. It's just like, you know, you watch something and then you don't see it for three weeks. And then it comes back and you watch a little and then you don't see it for three weeks. And it's like, yeah, you're telling a story, but nobody is invested in these stories. There's a lot of stories in AEW right now that the fans aren't invested in. And you can see it based on, well, when we have a great lineup of matches, people watch. But when we don't have a great lineup of matches, they're not tuning in to see the storyline progression. They're not invested in a lot of these stories. It is time for Tony Khan's big announcement. Ariel Hawani sucks, he says. No, I'm kidding. He didn't say that. This Moxley fella sure loves to bleed. Sure loves to bleed. It did not end well for Evil Uno. He was uh, just a, a mass of blood and blubber on the mat here. And I watch him do that fucking torpedo. I can't even figure out what the fuck's going on half the time. It's like he's a breaching whale. And it's like the most atrociously fucking horrible looking thing you've ever seen. But it is fucking awesome. They are creating a story where the fans have turned on Braun, which has not happened, but they're telling you it has happened, and they are planting signs um, to go along with their story, uh, presumably so that Braun can then turn heel and blame the fans. Well, Indy's name is apparently Impressive Indy Hartwell. Oh, it is? Impressive Indy Hartwell. <laughs> You're making this up, dude. I swear to God. They actually have called her that? Impressive have, Indy it Hartwell? Have, it may have only been Vic, but he is the voice of the company. I, I swear huh. to God, as this happened. Yep. Well, uh, she's not. Nikita Lyons Breasts got a promo. Nikita says that Tiffany sounds sus, which I don't know what that means because I'm old. <laughs> Tiffany goes, sus? <laughs> she's so disgusted. Kiana, I know I ruined your Valentine's Day date, and I've been doing some thinking, and I was wrong about you and the Zach thing. I'm sure you had your reasons, but you could have just told me that Zach was your brother. Her apology literally ends with blaming the victim, Kiana James. Kiana says, look, I know you're alone, but Brooks and I are spoken for, and Fallon interrupts her. I almost turned the show off at that point. I hate Fallon Henley. She's an awful person. Everything about her just torments me. Fallon loves the virgin. That's how this is all going to end. Kiana is going to break his heart as the virgin is so sad. And then Fallon's going to grab him and she's going to give him the biggest kiss. And then, well, I can't see what's going to happen then. You know what? After they fucked up Montreal, this is the new best storyline in wrestling. <laughs> okay. And he calls out Shawn Michaels for a Grayson Waller effect at Roadblock. Sean's going to come out of retirement to, to do something with Grayson Waller? Well, I don't know what they're going to do. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That was odd.